Marlene Hutchinson, and welcome to Tips for Guitar Playing Success. As many of you know, I've been sharing my guitar playing tips every Thursday for more than nine years. It's been my way to hopefully help you stay motivated, be inspired, and continue expanding your guitar playing journey. If you're interested in more learning resources like my Thursday Tips blog, my DVDs, books, virtual learning, and more, go to my website, marlenesmusic.com. And for anyone who's feeling like you're missing out on all the fun, you can easily join our wonderful world of guitar with my Learn to Play Guitar in a Day program at marlenesmusic.com. Subscribe, follow, and invite your friends to Tips for Guitar Playing Success. Now, on to today's tip. Today's tip is Guitar TLC Tender Loving Care for Your Guitar. TLC Tender Loving Care is not restricted to people. TLC can be given to pets, gardens, and yes, to our guitars. In terms of guitar TLC, I define it as taking good care of your guitar and maintaining the integrity of the instrument. Hey everyone, before I jump into this episode, I'm excited to announce that my new Learn to Play Guitar in a Day course will be available on March 1st. It's my tried and true signature method that's been featured on PBS and NPR, and it's in a newer, super easy to follow format. This course is for the absolute beginner. Anyone who would like to learn to play guitar quickly and easily. No experience needed. The regular course fee is $45, but for the first 10 people who sign up before March 1st, the course fee is only $35. That's a $10 savings. So if you know anyone who would like to learn to play guitar, please tell them about my new Learn to Play Guitar in a Day course. The link is below in the show description or the information is available on my website, marlenesmusic.com. Let's zone in on that guitar TLC. The care and maintenance you give your guitar depends a great deal on your environment. That's why I wanted to share a recent experience with you. A few weeks ago, I was in the Southern California mountains for a few days. The weather was quite different from the coastal Southern California climate where I live. In fact, it was noticeably different. It was quite cold, and one night we even had snow flurries. I imagine some of you are experiencing just those kinds of conditions. By the way, quick shout out and thank you to those of you listening in Austria, the Netherlands, Switzerland, Russia, Nepal, and Japan. Obviously, to be warm and toasty in the cabin, we had the heater on and the fireplace going. Though it was nice and warm, the heat effectively dehydrated or dehumidified the air causing my throat and skin to feel dry. That meant the guitar would feel the effects of the low humidity as well, and I certainly didn't want that. To remedy the dehydrating effects in my throat, I drank lots of water. I showed my skin some love by applying lotion. As for my instrument, well, I needed to take extra measures as these conditions were far below the ideal climate for an acoustic guitar. I realized in that moment that this would be a good experience to share with you. So what did I do? First things first, I checked the temperature and humidity. The outside conditions I could check on my phone and it was 55 degrees relative humidity and 40 degrees Fahrenheit. But the more important reading was the indoor conditions. A hygrometer, 
A meter that measures temperature and humidity is the best way to detect interior conditions. It's a small device that can be kept in the case. The ideal conditions are 45 to 55 degrees relative humidity and 74 to 76 degrees Fahrenheit. Inside the cabin, it was hovering around 20% relative humidity and 70 degrees. No wonder my throat and skin felt dry, and most likely my guitar too. That low humidity reading meant I needed to raise the moisture content. Knowing this information and acting on it to protect my instrument is what I call good guitar TLC. To create 45 to 55 percent humidity and 74 to 76 degrees conditions inside the mountain cabin required a minimum of one of these two measures to be done, ideally both if possible. The first is to have a humidity system in your guitar case. By the way, regardless of your location, whether it's low or high humidity, I strongly advise having one in your case at all times. The second measure is to bring in a room humidifier. This is necessary, especially if you're planning to leave your guitar out of its case and on a stand. At the mountain cabin, I didn't have a room humidifier. So I stuck to the first measure. I kept my guitar in the case when I wasn't playing because I had a humidity system inside the case. I was only in the mountains for a few days, so keeping my guitar in the case was an adequate solution. If those conditions exist on a more long-term basis for you, I recommend a room humidity system. That way, you can confidently leave your guitar out, and bonus, that means you'll probably play more. As a side note, if you're in immediate need of humidity and you don't have a room humidifier, you can use a bucket of water and a fan blowing near the water. A few years ago, I saw something like this when visiting a luthier shop in Colorado. The power had gone out, so their humidifying system wasn't on. And since the shop was in the basement, they were able to flood the floor, it was cement, with about an inch of water, and then they had fans running on a generator. It wasn't ideal, but they had a lot of expensive and rare wood that needed emergency TLC. Another option is to buy a humidifying cabinet for your guitar. And I just saw a new invention, a clear plastic hanging bag, kind of like a wide garment bag that had a built-in humidity system. Both of these options allow you to see the beauty of your guitar and know that it's going to get the ideal conditions that it needs. When it comes to a climate's effects on your guitar, I like to say, if you're comfortable, your guitar is comfortable. At the mountain cabin, it was noticeably dry to the point that it made me think that if my throat and skin were dry, my guitar was feeling it too. And like the water and the lotion for my throat and skin, I knew I needed my guitar to have some extra special TLC. I hope this episode's tip has helped you to continue expanding your guitar playing skills and knowledge. If you'd like to learn more, please check out the many learning resources available at marlenesmusic.com. Thank you for joining today's podcast. And as I like to say, play on.